What to expect when you call a plumber? Do you even know? Have you ever been ripped off by a residential service company? Well, what I'm going to talk about today is if you're a homeowner, I'm going to show you some things that you can do to make sure you never get ripped off again. Now, if you're a plumber and you're watching this, you need to listen to these things because these are the things that are going to separate you from the crooks out there and the people that really just don't know what they're doing. So you know how it goes. Normally it's like, hello, uh, yes, yes, Rogers Plumbing, yes, yes, I need a plumber. Okay, uh, can, can you, I don't know, tell me how much do you charge? Oh, you don't want to tell me how much you charge. Okay, uh, do you have a service fee? Why do you have a service fee? Why is it that much? Okay, look, as a homeowner, man, there's things that you need to know. But one of the very first things is you need to be very clear about what the issue is that you're having at your house at this moment while you're trying to call a plumber. And what this is gonna do, is gonna give the plumber the best chance to get to your problem right away. Now, you heard me on the mock call. Is there a service fee? There should be. I hate to say this, but look, if I've got a plumbing truck that I've got $100,000 invested in, I'm paying a plumber 30, 40, 50 bucks an hour, maybe an apprentice, another 20, 25 an hour. And you want them to come out to your house for free. That doesn't make sense to me. You're going to say, Roger, if you, if you guys get the job, you know, just roll it over into it. No, it doesn't work that way. I've got to pay that guy for about an hour to come out to look at your project fuel. I've got gas. I've got insurance. I've got more freaking overhead than you could ever imagine, including massive amounts of insurance. But I want to go back to why it's important to go ahead and pay that service fee. Number one, there's a lot of people out there that are just checking prices every day. I always tell people, look, I'm not the cheapest plumbing company. I've always wanted to be the best, not the cheapest. So think about what it is you really want. A lot of companies charge fees anywhere from $29 to maybe $129. Trust me, it's probably worth it. That fee does not even cover the time to get there, the fuel to get there, the insurance, the wear and tear on the vehicle, paying the plumbers, everything there. And remember, you've also got a call center rep that answered the call, the owner of the company, a manager, different people, that doesn't cover it. But what that does, that makes sure that you are really a customer that is, look, I wanna take care of this problem and I want good people to do it. So to me, service fees are a really smart idea. Now, when that plumber gets there, think about your first impression. What does that plumber look like? How does he talk to you? Where does he park? Is he right in front of the mailbox or did he pull up in your driveway? That just blows my mind. How does he appear to you? Does he seem like, look, this is a nice guy. He's sharp, he's very friendly and does he give you like a credibility statement? Does he walk up and say, look, can I take just a moment to tell you a little bit about myself, why I work at Texas Green Plumbing and a little bit about Texas Green Plumbing itself? Let me tell you about me. I was a troublemaker growing up, but I got into plumbing and I found something that I really loved. After I found plumbing, you know what? I stopped getting in trouble. And luckily I found Texas Green Plumbing and I love working there because they only hire really, really good plumbers. And we all, we work as a team, we support and take care of each other. And Texas Green Plumbing itself, Texas Green Plumbing has the best warranties and they believe in investing in us, the plumbers, and they train us all the time. Now, if I'm coming in with that, and I call that a credibility statement, if I come in with that, don't you think that I'm gonna do the best possible job available for you? I'm not gonna rip you off. I'm after a five-star review, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, but man, I wanna do the best freaking job possible for you. So where do I park? What's my uniform look like? What's my hygiene? Am I, am I clean? Do I sound good? Do I speak clearly so you can understand? There's so many things to think about. And then, oh, by the way, when I got there, did I knock on the door or did I ring the doorbell? Me personally, I prefer knocking on the door, not real hard, hard enough that you can hear me, but I don't want to ring a doorbell because maybe there's a baby asleep. Maybe there's a dog back there somewhere that is just going to go ape crazy. Anyway, I prefer to knock on the door and then step back a little bit. When you answer the door, I want you to feel comfortable, not like I'm standing right here in your face, like, hey, I'm Roger, I'm the plumber, let me in, here I come. Think about that. You want to feel very comfortable when you open that door. I wanna make sure you can see both my hands. I'm gonna have a toolbox in one hand, a price guide in the other, and I'm gonna be ready to walk in, talk to you, 
go through my credibility statement and then explain to you what this service call is going to look like. Now, not only am I going to introduce myself, but I'm going to tell you what this call is going to look like. Okay. I'm going to explain to you that I'm going to look at the problem, but I'm also going to go ahead and check out the entire rest of your plumbing system. The reason being is your plumbing system all ties together. Believe it or not, sewer, water, and gas, it all ties together. So if I walk around and inspect everything, there's a possibility that whatever problem you're having could be the result of something else. But also, I'm a trained professional. And if I come into your house, say you've got a water heater that is either leaking or, or say, say you've got a water heater in your attic that's 20 years old. True story, this has happened walked up, looked at a water heater in the attic that was 14 years old. The lady was having me look at a laundry room. And I told her, I said, ma'am, look, you know, the, the laundry room's great, but you've got a water heater in your attic that's 14 years old. It's directly over your living room. Think about those because that's something you need to get done. And I sent her an estimate for the two water heaters also. She decided not to do the water heaters. We kept talking about the laundry room. She went out of town on Friday. When she came back on Monday, one of the water heaters had completely leaked and flooded. Her entire ceiling was in her living room floor. Know what to expect. You've got a professional walking in. And if he's offering to look at your entire plumbing system just to make you aware of anything that might be wrong, that's not a bad thing. Now, before he gets going, you need to tell the plumber in your own words exactly what's going on. What's going on with this problem? Have you had this problem before? Have you had anybody else try to fix this problem before? And be as thorough as you can. If you've had people out before, have those receipts, have those estimates. That way you can show them, look, this is what they said was wrong before. And they told me they fixed it. Yet, here we are doing the same thing again. He comes in, he looks at the problem. He does the whole home inspection. He realizes that this problem was caused by another problem. And you've got a couple of things here. Normally, a plumber will come to you and say, look, these things are critical. These are things you need to get done. You know, a 14-year-old water heater in the ceiling right above your living room. These things, well, you know what? They need to be fixed, but it's nothing major. So they give you the options. Here's what you should do now. Here's what you could do. And here's what I would do. Do me a favor. Look through it very thoroughly and think about it. If he's suggesting something that you think could cause a problem later, you may want to get it taken care of right now. After he or she has done all the work, they should leave that area cleaner than when they got there. I tell my people, look, make sure you put on your floor protectors, make sure that you've got your carpets rolled out, anything that you can do to keep from causing problems. If I'm laying tools out, I want a mat to set them on. I don't just want to lay them on your tile floor or your tile countertop, anything at all like that. So are they taking care of your house as good or better than you would? Because to me, that is important. And then clean it up, clean it up good, and then bring you in and let you look at everything show you exactly what they did and explain it to you. That way you understand. Now, one thing I want to tell you before the plumber ever gets there, you can do some things to make his job easier. Number one, if you've got a pet, you've got a big dog or something like that, or a cat that may try to sneak out the door, go ahead and put your pets up. That way you don't have to worry about them. The plumber doesn't have to worry about them and nobody gets hurt or nobody gets out. Number two, if they're getting under a cabinet, a lavatory, or a kitchen sink, please make sure you've got that cleaned out where they can get under there very well. And then the third one, whether your water heater is in the attic or out in the garage, please make sure that the plumber has a clear access to it in and out, doesn't have to climb over anything. They don't need to clean out your garage to get to your water heater. At least they shouldn't have to. Now, if you want me to do it, I'm going to charge you. I hope that you got some great information out of this today. If you did, do me a favor. Please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And if you know of anybody that may be calling a plumber, send this video to them. Share it with them. I'm sure it'll help. And if you love this one, I really think you're going to like this one.